we have extra full ridge, pull good, and you'll find the prop lever is very hard to pull okay. in the cold. It'll take like both hands. So the mag check, what's nice about this is when I do the left mag out, that display will tell me. So when you pull all the way out, that's the feather? Yeah, you, you're going to check for the uh, oil pressure to drop. County ground, good morning, Bonanza 5347 Echo, runway 8, ready for takeoff. Bonanza 5347 Echo, Fulton County Tower, east departure, runway 8, clear for takeoff. East departure, runway 8, clear for takeoff, 47 Echo. Alright, let's go for the runway, the heading and everything's good. Yep. Okay. All, All right. is good, ready? Up, ready to go. Alright. You'll notice this takes a hell of a lot of right rudder. Oh, really? Like more than you'll be used to, because oh. the, to feed oh, yeah. the power. Yeah. Airspeed is alive. Airspeed on. 80 and rotate. There we go. Oh, yes. Off the ground. Nice positive rate. Gear comes up. That's the gear sound. Okay. Climbing at about 1100. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, I'm not used to that. That's a beautiful, uh, beautiful takeoff, Shashi. Yeah. I'll okay, keep normally climb at 25, 25. Okay. So my one cylinder is going up to 400, so I opened the cowl flap to bring that down. Okay. So I'll reduce my climb rate. I don't have to climb at 1500. Right, right, right. So typically do you climb at uh, what air speed? Uh, 120. 120, okay. Ah, so then I confirm that the landing gear is up, and if I hit the nav off, I can see the landing up light. Okay, oh, wow, interesting. So climbing 2000. Even at 25, uh, 25 I'm climbing yeah. at 1100 feet a minute. <laughs> I don't oh, need to. A, oh, that uh. is awesome performance. Good morning, I'm Lena Approach, uh, November 5347, Ayako with you, 4000. 5347, Echo on Approach, LT 3060, maintain VFR, and uh, what's your cruising altitude going to be? Uh, cruising is going to be 5547, Echo. Roger. Okay. You start climbing up to 4500 for now. Climb to 4500, 57 Echo, 47 Echo. Burning 15, I don't need that much. I'm at 320. Okay. So I can go a little bit. 1,000 to 3,500. I did not approve that. You're still in the class Bravo. Climb immediately to 4,500. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I told you to go on course. I told you to stay at 4,500. That's what we call That's a pilot true. deviation. Let me know when you're ready to copy phone. Oh, oh no! Shit. Oh no, <laughs> poor guy. You better turn us now. For 5347 Echo, traffic's 1 to 130, 3 miles northbound indicates 3,800. Uh, we have the traffic inside. Can we climb to 5,500 now? 47 Echo. Yes, I told you that three miles ago. You can start a vehicle for climb. That's what did he say? He said, yeah, say Roger. Roger, 47 Echo. He said three miles ago he told us, but he said 4,500. He didn't say 55. Yeah. 160 knots of ground speed. Yep. For 5347 Echo, County kind of Atlanta approach 132.47. 3247 for uh, 47 Echo. Thank you. All right. It'll oscillate a little bit until right. it settles down. I'm going to approach uh, Bonanza 47 Echo, level 5500. Number 5347 Echo, land approach, Athens, Delta Meter 3063. 3063, Echo, thank you. So, so 23 on the manifold pressure, 2300 on the RPM, burning 12 and a half, fuel pressure, oil pressure, oil temps good, left main. Now I can switch to the aux tanks. Okay. On straight and level. Just remind me, I need to switch back to one of the mains for uh, descent and okay. turns. Gotcha. That's only for straight and level. All right. Uh, because this is a beautiful airplane, I wanted to hear because there's a story behind it, right? Tell Welcome. me about the airplane, like... Uh, sure, good morning and it. welcome on board. This is November 5347 Echo. It's a Bravo Echo 35. It's a Beechcraft Bonanza v -tail. This one is a 1959 K model, so it's called the K35. And uh, this plane is a single engine prop, as you can see, with a V-tail. Um, got an IO 470 And it's a very simple setup. I've got the six-pack. Uh, standard six pack with an engine monitor and the traditional Garmin 430 with a transponder and uh, all standard equipment. What's interesting about this is this has been restored to near original uh, type. If you look at all the piano switches, they're called piano switches for a reason. Okay. And they're very, very uh, uh, iconic of a 59 model. If you notice, even the landing gear switch is a, a right. piano switch. Most people put a handle, yeah. but uh, this one works just good. Got a uh, STEC 50 um, altitude hold only autopilot to access. We're currently running 23 on the manifold pressure, 2300 on the RPM, burning 12.5 gallons per, uh, per hour on the fuel. Yeah, that's awesome. Yep, and um, what else you want to know? It's okay. a four seat, um, simple little. The four airplane. seat version, yeah. Yep. What's the useful load like? 
It's about a thousand pounds. Thousand pounds, give okay. or take. Yeah. And how much fuel can you put in? Uh, it's got four tanks, two main and two auxiliary, as you can see here. Twenty-two on the left main, twenty-two on the right main. Okay. And ten, ten each on the auxiliary, so sixty-six in all. Okay. It's a nice cross-country machine. Um, pretty nose-heavy uh, when there's not much uh, load in the back. Yeah. So I usually keep all my luggage way in the back in the luggage compartment behind the back seat. All right. So I get some weight. Otherwise, uh, it's a very simple, straightforward airplane. Okay. When did you buy this airplane? It's been about four years now, okay. and uh, with COVID, I haven't flown much. Had to say, I'll try to get every chance I get. Bye. I know there is a story behind uh, buying this airplane. You want to share that? So the previous owner, he restored us, and uh, he is a Ag sprayer. Uh, he's a uh, spray pilot, Ag pilot, and he had it kept on his private property on a grass runway behind his backyard, and uh, I think took good care of it. Uh, it was on some ad. Didn't know much about bonanzas. Immediately jumped on the American Bonanza Society for almost six months and talked to a lot of people, learned enough about it, got comfortable. When I went to go see it, it was significantly bigger than what I had before. Wow. Uh, I was intimidated. I said, there's no way I can fly this. Right. But then uh, for the pre-buy, I made a deal with him. I said, uh, you fly. He was in Michigan. I'm in Alabama. The number 5347 Echo, Kinetic Approach 124.2. 24247 Echo, thanks. My scan, uh, my scan includes, of course, these two, fuel flow, uh, oil pressure, oil temps, okay. all the CHTs and EGTs. I look at everything else, uh, indicated airspeed, traffic. That's my usual scan. No, that's good. I mean, I really love this one. I wish yeah. I had this What I don't too. need is the landing light and the I pulse light, so I take that off. For okay. 12 four descending 11,000. So that's the other thing I check is volts and amps. It's drawing 2.6 amps, 13.8. Okay. Uh, so it's green, so it's charging. You know, I think uh, this airplane would go maybe another five yards faster okay. if we put for all the rivets there. <laughs> <laughs> Exposed now, rivets. Now you're talking serious country. Yeah. And this is but this is extremely slick. Yeah. So what I normally do is I'll take a picture of this in flight, and I'll just keep it in the thing, and then. If I see something abnormal, I compare all the pictures, so I'll know the date and time. When How come started. it was the pressure was this? Now it's this. You know, it's gone up. It's gone down. So if you fly by the numbers, this it does really good. So one tank went to zero. Oh wow! Uh, the other one is still got four, so it won't stop on you. It's supposed to start drawing from this one, but what I do is so that's the right ox, that? right? Yeah. So all is centered. So if you really want to suck all that fuel out. You just step on the right side a little bit. Okay. So you fly crooked uh, for a little bit, you know, till yeah. you, you make it flow. But look at that. That little thing changed that to two and a half. So the float really has the an float. issue. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Now we get more fuel now. And yeah, now we got zero and five. And push the door. So what's this? Is this the lights? Yeah. What is, oh, that's yeah, you have uh, uh, for Should night. Ah. It's also red. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah. I've never flown night at this one, yeah. but in the evenings I turn it on. It looks nice. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Yeah. So what's your uh, usually what do you cruise at like in terms of the speed? speed or greater I cruise at what I get, <laughs> uh, depending on the winds. Yeah. But uh, what I do for power is I put it on 23 for manifold pressure and 23 for the RPM. Okay. And they call it flying 23 squared. Okay. But this IO470 engine it appears to be the most sweet spot for it. Okay. So that's what I've been doing forever. And then I'll lean it out to burn about 12.5 gallons per hour. Okay. It'll keep my cylinder heads. Right now it's 340. I can go up to 380 and be okay. So I'll just conserve some fuel, go down to 12.5. That's about lean of speed for this one. Okay. Tumble 125, Roger. There you go. So 23, 23, 12.5, give or take, and leveled out. Um, it's clean configuration, gears up, flaps are up, and it should give me indicated about uh, 170, 175. Well, uh, 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 not. Yeah, that's outside is miles per hour, inside is not. So we're about uh, 120, 30, 40, 150. 150 knots. And ground speed 156. Oh. So slight tailwind. So since you bought the airplane, what additional things that you do? Did you upgrade anything? Yes, I've done quite a few things. 
a um, lot of them are on the engine side. It, this used to have an engine uh, fil oil filter um, with an adapter and that came loose one time and we had an issue. Okay. So I took that out, put a DeShannon remote filter kit which is on the firewall. Uh, that's a huge improvement. Then I've done small, small things. Uh, I did put, uh, uh, replaced a bunch of things that was not working and stuff. Okay. But yeah. Uh, Quite a few things. Combo uh, one two five. Uh, did you have hundred inside as well? It's currently uh, one o'clock and eight miles. We do. So you also put that bomb. Yep. Combo the broadcast out to module level. Okay. Uh, I've really honestly not used it a whole lot. One nine zero nine zero zero missile. All right. One. It's a backup. Then all this is backup. Backup. A lot of backups. So did you already had the ADSB? Yes. Uh, yeah, it came with the ADSB and uh, correct. Transporter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I did have the ADSB on the engine monitor and the six pack. I've left it alone. The autopilot, I've left it alone. Okay, so you had the 430. This is not the WAS. It is WAS. It is WAS. Yep. Okay, 430W. Yep. And the, what about the audio panel? Did you already had the audio panel? Yep. PS engineering. Yep. Okay. Well, that's a good audio panel. Yep. It's got the Bluetooth interface. Okay. So you, I could interface this to that Bluetooth. Then you'll hear all the four flight alerts. Uh, I should do that. Of that. And this is Bengaluru Kutumale at 6,500 and I know God knows where we are, I don't care. Thank you, sir. What I care about is this. Thank you for bringing this. 47 Echo, now you can turn your base, runway 8 clear to land. Turning base, 47 Echo, clear to land. Alright, comes check. Gear is down, mixture and props good, undercarriage, gas on fullest tank. Are you too high or? Yeah, normal. Good. Okay. Chop and drop. Chop and drop, okay, <laughs> that's good.